Ye who hold the sacred sword, ye have returned to the appointed spot. If you wish to interrupt your adventure again, speak to me, the one that you have marked to prove your encounter. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Santa520, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we made our way here to the peak of Woodfall to find out what happened to the Deku Princess. According to the monkey in the cage in the Deku King's palace, the, the um, princess and the monkey came to Woodfall to find out what was wrong with the po what was causing the poison water. She was captured and he fled, but the king now thinks that he kidnapped her and is now holding him prisoner. So, I don't remember the song. We've come here to Woodfall Temple to enter, or we've come here to Woodfall to find the temple, but there's no temple here. But the monkey did give us this song, the Sonata of Awakening. So what we need to do is play the Sonata of Awakening on the Deku Sigil. which will awaken the temple. Very Mayan slash Aztec, Mesoamerican, I guess you could say. So what we need to do now is float over and enter the temple. However, just remembered something. We have forgotten something. Or rather, I forgot something. So I'm going to play the Song of Soaring and warp to Clock Town. Because if you remember, the Great Fairy in Clocktown said if we ever find ourselves back in our normal form, we should return to her for more help. I never did that. So, we want to come out here to East Clocktown. And that's where the Great Fairy's shard is. We need to float over here. Grab this. And make for North Clocktown. Now, I want to preface this by saying that there are some things I'm going to be doing in between each temple in the town, because I don't feel like doing everything all at once in towns, or in areas, because that will just, like, take up the entire episode, and the next episode, and the episode after that, and it'll all be very boring, where there's nothing happening except me running around doing side quests, because this game is like... 75% side quest. Oh, Tattle, and you, kind young one. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the Great Fairy of Magic. For now, this is all I can offer you. Allow me to ease your weariness as a token of my gratitude. As my token of gratitude, I guess. They word things weird. She will heal us. She will restore our magic. For free. O oh, kind young one, scattered throughout the four temples of this land are broken stray fairies like me. Please find a way to save them and return them to their fountains. Surely they will add to your strength. Allow me to grant you something good so that the stray fairies will not fear you. And she will give us the Great Fairy Mask. Wear it with C. Stray fairies will fly to you when you wear it. You'll know when they're cl you're close to a fairy who's lost in a temple if the mask's hair begins to shimmer. Come see me whenever your quest has made you weary. <laughs> Ding. And now... We can return to Woodfall. So, what she's saying there is that there are other stray fairies scattered throughout the land. 
That is true. In each of the four temples, there are 15 stray fairies that we need to gather. However, some of them are in some very weird places. So, in order to get them, we need the, the Great Fairy Mask, because it will cause the stray fairies to fly to us. So then, now let's come over here and enter Woodfall Temple. So right away, you'll see there's a stray fairy flying around over there. Normally, what we would have to do is get in a Deku flower and fly over. But because we have the Great Fairy Mask, the stray fairy will just come to us. And here's a regular fairy, which I can put in a bottle. This mask looks a heck of a lot... Uh, a heck of a lot less creepy in its um, actual on-my-face form than it does in the uh, icon. The icon looks really weird. Anyway, um, you may have noticed that the hair on the Great Fairy mask was still shimmering. That is because there is still a Great Fairy, or a Stray Fairy, in this room. Whenever you're in a room and the, ma the hair... The hair on the mask is shimmering. It's because there's a stray fairy in the room. I believe the second one is in this chest. Yep. Come here. There we go. Second one. So we need to get um, our way over to the door. You may notice there are a few little enemies scooping around on the floor down there. Those are called bows. Specifically, those ones are black bows. They spawn in the shadows and they come to attack you. You want to be careful here to get between these two spiders, or else you're going to be in a world of hurt. Ugh, that stench! This place stinks just like that poison swamp. Yeah, there's poison water in here. It's on the floor. You'll also notice there's a very large flower there. What? Why is my controller rumbling? That is... Weird. Why is my controller rumbling? I guess it's because there was an enemy nearby. Okay. Um. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here. Deal with these Deku Babas. Get some sticks. Oh, that stray fairy was in that Deku Baba. That's where that was. Now, we've got these large flowers here. These are, um, man traps. If you get into them while uh, a human form, they'll try to eat you. So instead, what we need to do is use Deku form to very carefully make our way across the poisoned water. Also, there's a stray fairy right here. That's number four. Come in here. We've got some more of these guys, I believe. Yep. That beehive right there on that uh, wall statue. Shoot that guy down. If you can. I think I can hit him from here. I think. Can I hit that from here? No. We'll have to come back for that one. However, we can come over here, float across here. You want to be careful about these moths. These moths will actually hurt you if you get too close to them. Come here, and... Turtles. To kill these things, you need to pop out from underneath them as a Deku. They'll get stuck on the ground and uh, just sort of burn away. They're, they're annoying enemies to deal with. I think that's actually the only way to deal with them. I don't think you can hit them with anything else. Okay. 
Come on, turtle. Gotcha. Getting rid of all the turtles will cause a chest to spawn. Alright. Let's grab these rupees. What's in the chest? He's so small, he has to jump into the chest to get the item. And then hop back out and show us the dungeon map! This is one of the items that will not be saved when you go through the, um... The, the time reset. We're also going to use this flower to float over here. And open this chest to find a key! Small key. It's a small key. I can get this from here. Knock this down. Take off this. Put this on. And that is our fifth stray fairy. We're a third of the way there. Take that off. Back through the door. Back across the flower room. The weird wooden flower room. Avoid the Deku Baba coming here. And in this room, there's stuff. This looks pretty light. Oh, don't just stand there. Use A to grab it and use control stick to move it. Yeah, yeah, alright. Push this Majora's Mask block out of the way. I believe there are beehives up here. Yes. Oop. Bubble burst. One of these beehives, I think, has a stray fairy in it. Is it this one? Nope, that has a bee in it. Get rid of that. That's the other risk. Sometimes the beehives won't have anything, sometimes they'll have a stray fairy. Sometimes they'll have rupees, and then sometimes they'll have actual bees. How about this one? There's a stray fairy. Come here. Okay, now we want to come over here. We want to take care of this Skulltula. I don't think that's going to do it. Hey, buddy. Gotcha. Oh, he had a stray fairy as well. Yeah, the stray fairies in this first temple are going to be really easy to find. Like, there's one down there in a bubble. But we can't get it because we have no way to pop the bubble yet. Anyway, what we need to do right now is push that block so it's out of our way. We need to grab a Deku stick, light it on fire, and run. Those moths will follow you, and if they get to you, because they're following the fire, they will hurt you. That will light this on fire, or light this brazier, open that door, and now we need to grab the fire again, run up here, like this, ouch, yeah, see, that's what I meant about the... the Stupid moths. Like this. Jump over here. Jump over here. And burn this web. Now you can put your stick away. They'll go... Ow. They'll go over there to that torch. But... We need to go through this door first. And in here, there are... Dragonflies. Ouch. Dragonflies are a lot easier to deal with in Deku form. Because <laughs> the bubbles are OP. There we go. That works. Another chest. Oh, what could be in this one? It's the compass! Not many of the dungeon's hidden things will appear on the map. 
that does not include stray fairies. Stray fairies do not show up on the map, ever. So, we'll be revisiting this room at a later time. Let's get that stray fairy. In the meantime, though, let's hop over here. I think there's stuff in there. Uh, I think those must have been hearts. I'm over here. I'm over here. Oop, deck above. Get some more sticks. You can carry up to a maximum of 10 sticks, and no, you can't upgrade your capacity, I don't think. Anyway, be careful. I sense a lot of evil here. Yeah, it's very dark in this tunnel. Which is a perfect spawning point for bows. So instead, what we need to do is we need to light up the room. Whoa! Hello. Let's run around here. Light the torch. Light the torch. Light the torch. Light the torch! And light the torch. That'll open the door. Will not despawn the bows, so... I don't think bows ever drop anything. There's also a chest in here. Where is there a chest? Oh, do I have to destroy all the bows? Yes. <laughs> I have to destroy the bows to get the chest. What's in this chest? It's a stray fairy! Good thing I did. Good thing I had the compass. Okay, this room... Watch the holes. The holes will zone you out. Well, what we need to do is get through this room. You can see a platform floating back and forth over here. With, uh, a Deku flower on it. That's our destination. Get rid of that guy. I'm gonna get rid of that guy. Oh, I got him. Alright. Let's get back into this. Why are you floating over there? Alright, is this going to be difficult to do? I think it is. Alright, let's hop out here. Float over here. And then just wait. Because that platform should come and get us. Yes, there we go. And then we're going to wait on this platform for it to go around again. I don't believe there are any stray fairies in this room. I'll check once I get over to the door. Burrow into this. Float over here. Nice Kappa statues. Alright, let's see. Are there any stray fairies in this room? No. Okay, we're good. Let's go downstairs then. Now... We're up here! First things first. Step on this switch. This switch will make these two ladders appear. Which allows you to climb back up to this point. It's a, it's a door to before. Empty pots. Uh, there's a stray fairy over here, but we'll come back for that. For the meantime, let's go in here. All right, what's the story here? Well, we can come over here. Do these pots have anything in them? Rupees. Rupees. Must have had hearts. Why? Denalfos. And these Denalfos, well, this Denalfos can breathe fire. Stay away from that fire. How about you... Stop. Gotcha. Hit him when he's trying to hit you. That seems to be the best way to do things. Got him. 
fall through the wall, will you? And another chest. Did he drop anything? No, he didn't. I don't know if there's an easier way to beat that guy with uh, the Deku. But I do know that if your Deku form gets caught on fire, it zones you out. So don't let that happen. Anyway, we got the hero's bow. Not the fairy bow, but the hero's bow. So that is a C to equip it. Press C to draw it. Press and hold C to aim. Release C to shoot. We now have range as a human. Which is useful. So, let's shoot that eye switch right there. Shooting that eye switch will make this platform with the Deku flower on it start to raise and lower. So, we now can use that to get into that door across the way. Out here, fly over here, come in here, and uh, oh, it's a frog. Hit you with a bubble. Hit you with a bubble. Hit him with two bubbles, and he'll summon a um, one of those. All you have to do there is uh, jump out of the water, or jump out of the flower. And, um... Knock him off his turtle. Then you need to go into human form and shoot him with an arrow. Come on, where is he at? Shoot him with an arrow. He'll come back down. Get back on his turtle. Grab his arrows. Walk on. He gets three or four arrows. Turtle will disappear, and he'll turn back into a frog. I never said the name of that enemy. That was Gecko. Gecko became a frog. Hello, frog. Gecko will become important later. But not for a long time. Anyway, get some money here. Our purse is full. Our wallet is full. Anyway, we know what's in here. It's the boss key! Now you can enter the chamber where the boss lurks! wonder who our boss is gonna be. That frog doesn't go away, by the way. He stays there. And he's looking at me. Anyway. Can I get back in our flower? Float over to this door. Come out here. What do you want? Look! From up here, we have a better view of that shrine below. What do you think that is? The ashes in the center look of it looks fresh. Still look fresh. What we need to do here is take aim and hit that in the center. It'll light the torch. The flower shrine will become active and it will actually purify the water in this area. It will also kill the man traps. But, if we look at our map, map, we only have eight of 15 stray fairies. We're still missing quite a few. And there is one in this room. It's, uh, it's over here. Grab that real quick. Now then, let's see our map. Uh, north door is the one we're close to. There's a chest in this room that we haven't seen yet. Let's 
over here. Uh, oh, that's why my thing is rumbling. It's because there's a chest here. I bet you any... Well, going for a swim, I guess. I bet you any money if I light that one torch. Give me that nut. Alright. Climb up here. Don't worry about that guy. Let's get onto this flower. Ride it around. And we want to shoot that brazier right there. Like that. Okay, that opens the door. That is not what we want. What we want is the chest. So I guess what we need to do is get in the flower and float over here and step on the switch. Now, please be aware that Deku Form is way too light to actually push any buttons. That will become moderately important in the future. All right. Got this chest now. Bzz, phone's going off. This should be our stray fairy. This is number 10. Alright, so I know there's two in the final room. I need to find where our missing stray fairies are. And that's what the mask is used for. Mask will tell us when we're in a room with a stray fairy. If we come down here, this is going to be the room with the block. Oh, these guys are dead as well. Should be able to get over here. Can I jump up to this? Yes, I can. Come in here. Nothing in here. Alright, so. Time for the hunt. Which is the room that I need to enter? The one with the block. Is it actually going to be this one right here? I don't think it's this room. Indeed, it is not. Hang on, is it this one over here? I think this is the gecko room. No, this was the Denalfos room. I think that's the gecko room over there. Yeah, that's the gecko room. Okay, here we go. Time for the wild goose chase of the century. Well, let's start looking back. Anything in here? No. No, I don't want to do that. I want to see if there's anything down here. That I'm going to fall down. Nope. Alright. Why are you attacking me down there? Go away. In here. Nothing in here. The bows are gone because they were tied to that chest. Well, we'll come in here. Because we know this is where there's a stray fairy. Stray fairy in question here is underneath the platform. So what we need to do is we need to bring our brand new bow and arrow. Get rid of that guy real quick over here and shoot that bubble. Now we'll bring the stray fairy over to us. That will bring the stray fairy over to us. It's stuck behind a block. There we go. Number 11. Now are there... Only two? There might be more than two in that last room. Oh, was this? Understood. Nut. 
It is almost 6 a.m. on the second day. Come around here. This is the door. Final door. There are at least... Okay, there's at least three then. There's one. Um, I'm gonna get rid of these guys real quick. Number 12. that. Let's get rid of these. You're not going to have to worry about the screen zooming in to say dawn of the second day when you're in a temple. They were kind enough not to have that happen. Okay, there we go. All those guys are gone. Now, Drop down here. Break our ankles. And start looking in these little cubbies. Dawn of the second day, 48 hours remain. Here's one. Number 13. Some more arrows here. Get a heart there if we need it. Hop up here. There's another one. Yep. 14. Number 15 is right over there. So there are four stray fairies in this room. Also, yes, despite being extremely... Oh, God, I just realized what time it is. <laughs> despite being extremely light, Deku, Le Deku Link can't actually take fall damage. I'm going to grab this last stray fairy, and then I'll end it. Whoops! Getting way too into this. Come on. Land on my head. There we go. All stray fairies. Quick, take them to the fellow fairies of the same color. Next time on The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, we will fight the boss of Woodfall and then take the stray fairies back to their mom, I guess. Anyway, this is N520 signing out. Oh! <laughs>